Sub Jager. What is up? Alright, um, yeah, we just have a couple more, top 64, and then I'll get into top 32. So this one's Divine Tower versus Phoenix DK. Um, let's go over the boxes real quick. So Divine Tyrone. Mm, first of all, it's four healers, three damage buffers, so... It's pretty good, it makes sense for his box because he's running a lot of single targets here. There's Chlorat, especially Legend units, right? He has Chlorat, he has MK, um, single target, single target, yeah, pretty much all single target, really. Um, there are units that do both AoE and single target, but yeah. So you could opt to do some AoE if you want to. But most likely he's going to ban um, Landius here, just because he go he's going single target. It's pretty easy to kill the Struggler. For Phoenix, mm, Yeah, it's pretty much like a mixed meta box. He is also pretty heavy on single target as well. But he does have Rain and Lestelle also. But yeah, I think he's going to ban Juggler as well. Not to mention Juggler is pretty good on this map, so... No, I mean, yeah, Ben Landius is what I meant, and uh, he's gonna ban... Ooh! Okay, so he actually bans Juggler. That's interesting, right? Which... It's not too bad, because when it comes to Juggler versus Landius, in my opinion, that juggler comes out ahead. Hey Jesse. Um, just because you have 3C, jump, disable guard, and if you don't have any way to deal with it, you can use your single target units to pick off units. Also B shock. And maybe he also didn't want to give him juggler on this map. Okay. So, D lib pick, I mean, D lib that makes sense because it's Lancer Landius. Zerida. Mm. Not. Not the biggest priority, I don't think. Okay, two damage buffers. These are good. These two are very good. When it comes to AoE Aries, so good bands here. D lit, also a good pick. She's easily gonna survive the AoE from Aries, and also, if you don't have Magic Guard on Juggler, she can just come in, attack anyone. Also, this map is pretty small. Here is though. That's an interesting pick. Uh, Liana's second pick. Always good. MK Ban. Yup. MK is a huge threat. And it's a pretty big threat against Juggler. It's a good ban as well. Two healers. That's interesting. Very interesting. So you have Luna here, if you pick up this Luna, you're safe from pretty much like these three units. Well, when it comes to damage, Bozo's still gonna debuff. But Sonya and d -Lit cannot kill anything really, if you have Luna. Who picks uh, Liana here? Bozo pick. Not the best pick either, 
there's uh, two healers, there's Liana, and also you could even pick up Rachel here, so... Yeah, um, but if you're gonna pick up Rachel, it's better to ban out uh, Zerida. So ban picks, I think both players can improve a little bit. It's, it's a little strange to me. Um, all these ban picks. We'll see. setting up here yeah give me a second actually I'll meet the discord mm, Should work, I think. <laughs> that should work. So they're setting up now. Sorry, that here. Pretty big threat. You can pick off these three units, but you know, Zerda. This is pretty tanky, high HP. But when you use Alazar, there's always a chance that Ares can watch out you because you no longer no longer have last rights. But fortunately, it's gonna be a range attack. So 15% reduction on top of hide and seek 30%. It's probably not, right? You can also act again right now. If Ares comes in, heal. You can pick off either Ares or you get Ares for free. You can even kill Rachel. He doesn't go in though. But he is gonna act again. Probably gonna pick off Rachel. And then run back two or three. Jump on top of uh, Sarada, looks like. Yeah. So, this is a strange move, right? So, this Serda has last rights and also hide and seek. She's pretty safe. So, even if Ares comes in here, auto attacks. Or even AoEs, she's not gonna die. And you're in no rush to hit right now, so just wait a little bit. And also, if you're gonna hit with... Uh, if you're gonna hit with the lit, you don't even need to act again. Why don't you just hit right now? Three steps. Right? Range attacks better. You're not gonna get counter damaged. Just because it jumped. The attack's pretty high, so you're gonna take a lot of damage in return plus Thorn Trot propped, so she ends up with pretty low HP here. There's zero reason to cast Miracle there either, right? And you also lost the defense buff there. But full to heal, heal to full. Pretty good. Um, no real way to deal with Juggler. It's low, getting low though, but... Healing Light. Mm. 
And now he has an opportunity to AoE these two. Or oh, he brought single target. Interesting. This whole time I thought he had AoE. Interesting. Now, that Bozo's dead. You also have Act Again. Act Again, you can kill Bozo for free. I would do that and say B Shot. But he heals instead. Okay. He still has turn power already, so that's fine. So instead of be shocking here, I would definitely use this Ares to kill. It's kind of a waste. No reason to. It's better to save that B-Shock for either um, Landius or Deedlet. You can lock him down, pick off Deedlet. Pretty easy. So, this is gonna unnecessarily make the game longer at this point. I... yeah... okay. Yeah, he just cannot kill Chuckler. So... But the good thing is the Chucklers... Oh, and this should kill, actually. I was gonna say, Chucklers... Magikarp was gonna be up next turn, so he can do something, but yeah, I mean Like even moving Landius here was a bad idea, right? To guard Right The both here you're guarded, you both here, so Traveler can steal it Yeah, both players making mistakes here and there, so Divine Timer wins Oh, a lot of changes here. Mythical box. Interesting. So going back to three healer box. One, two, three. And then taking out Zerida, Clara, and Luna. So Meteor Princess, pretty much. And going to Mythical. Okay. And for Phoenix, he's bringing in more damage. He's gonna ban Juggler again. A lot of Juggler killers. One, two, three, four, five. Once again, he doesn't ban... I guess he likes banning Juggler. But... To me, it makes more sense to ban Outlandius using this box. But like I said, if you have Juggler and you're... And then he has land use, that's okay. Hmm. So when you pick a Leonhart, he's gonna buff. Most likely kill this. You wanna eliminate units that can 
not kill Leonard. So you list like MK, D lit, or even Rachel if she's in range. If you're jumping in like way too close. You want to get rid of those units instead, right? Rainforce doesn't really do anything. Uh, okay, Imelda. Oh, he's gonna get Sonya here. Looks like. Yep, that's a pretty good pick. Um, it is kind of risky to bring Bone Dinos in case he brings the Lancer Troops. Which should be okay. If you do bring Lancer Troops, it breaks last rights. Not sure. Um, and then you can bring the Demon Knights. So a little bit of mind game here. I'm not sure if the Vine Tyrone has Lancer Troops trained. We'll see. I mean, this is a super weak team on the Vine Tyrone side. Like, I would not expect to win games with this team. Because Gizaroth doesn't do too much damage. Also, Gizaroth summons are not too strong against Landius. And then there's D lit. Solo DPS, D lit. Is good against Landius, but that's just one life. You do have to dive in. And his plan is to snipe this juggler if that goes well. You have use case who's just gonna pick everyone off. So it really depends if Phoenix can kill this juggler. So he does a bone dinos versus lobsters. I don't see how it's not a kill with Imelda buff. We'll see. So, he doesn't have ninjutsu, he has bloodbath instead, but 5, 7, 1, 2, 3, that's the range, we can whip, right? Very good breeze. What the? You have to go in. But I guess he wants tear. But that doesn't matter, right? Because you have strike. I don't see why you wouldn't go in here. Yep, he just messed up. He just messed up. Guess Lucky Breeze, and looks like... But nothing matters, nothing matters. Looks like he's going to, he got Lucky too, he just got Breeze from it. He's going to jump over here. And then he's going to follow up. Or he could... 1, 2, 3, kill Landius. That's 100% kill, I think. Maybe not because it's range attack, but it should be a kill and then jump afterwards. We'll see. So he does that. Doesn't kill though. So if you want to one shot Landius, you want a melee, melee attack for sure. Not to mention, it was a wind cutter dagger. That's not gonna range attack. You get reduced damage as well because the animation. You have to melee this skill. Uh, Alvonora doesn't matter. But he's gonna jump over here because of the jump. He couldn't use Alvonora, which is understandable.
Been a terrible choice there. So, he has zero chance of actually killing this juggler. And you never, ever want to use 3C when you're not transformed. It's just not worth it. Especially if you're not going to kill anybody. If you can't make the kill, then you could use it, but this is a really bad move here. Probably either... Yeah, probably either need to heal or just start AoE with this unit. Because if he AoEs, he hits 2. Right? And then he can potentially kill the struggler. Maybe, if you get water off. This is a terrible choice though. Hey Q. So his land use is dead. Yusuke is angry, but he's useless. Um, doesn't even kill. I also get thorn. At that point, might as well melee attack, right? So both games, I think Fenix had better ban picks, but this game he was really hesitant to go in. He needed to go to go in turn one. There was no reason not to. You're just making more risk for yourself. Uh, the more you hesitate. So if he actually transformed, he could win this, but he didn't. Also doesn't have to AC. Also, last turn, if I were him, I would have moved up Gizaro. There's no reason to really stay back. You're giving Yusuke more chance right now to transform and get his skill back. Really odd place. Might as well just kill, right? With your construct. I guess he couldn't move or he knew it was over. That's why he did that. Mm. Let's see. I'll do Sandy Harry. 
also from top 64. Or is it like Harry Sandy? Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with Mitch's Xbox. I do fight him time to time. And when you see Toguro Illustrial, it's pretty much him. So the way Mitch Zack plays is a lot of single targets. Um, he loves assassins as well. Mobility buffers. There's three healers though. It's an aggressive box, not, re not necessarily a rush box. So he likes to create zone. He zone controls and then try to pick you off. Does a trade. Oftentimes he won't pick up a tank. Mm, yeah, I mean, tank buster, uh, kind of a tank buster, right? Kind of hard to buffer their Zerda. Gospel. Yeah, it's really hard to buffer. Um, but good zone control, though. For Sandy Harry, unique box. Let's see. Similar style, though, right? Aggressive, so they they both have a stealth juggler, which is pretty common when you run an aggressive box. And the case for Landius is that when it comes to AOE, he can't really do anything. Estelle can at least buff. She can AOE herself, and also, um, what can she do? I guess she can heal with three C. I think she's a lot better when it comes to AOE. So. Okay, one assassin, two assassin, a lot of AoEs, and single target. Kind of a three tank box as well, because there's a Barnhart, which is very uncommon. Also, the key unit is Helena. I don't think anybody, I haven't met anyone who uses her yet, so this should be interesting. Okay, Illustrial pick first. So on this map, Mitchu does like doing that a lot. He likes Illustrial. Uh, right now, I just feel like Illustrial is not as good because there are a lot of new units that are tanky. For example, we have Reen and Arion in most people's boxes. So she just doesn't have the kill potential like she used to last season. But with her 3C, it's going to be a lot different. Okay, so bans both tanks and Yusuke. I feel like this also means he's not going to pick up a tank here. Yep, Yusuke pick. Because you can tell when... Wait. Because he banned out Yusuke, right? He doesn't want to deal with that with no tank. Okay. This is understandable. Yusuke, no tank, faction buffer, he can get really annoying with two skills. Zerda. It could get dangerous if Zerda has Euler's Bell. Really good map control, so yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Picks up Zerda. And you got the long legs here. Toguro cannot kill Yusuke because it's demon. Picks up a tank. That's even better. He doesn't really need to worry about him. He does need to worry about D loot though. Now he's trying to get rid of the unit that he can't kill. 
It's really hard to kill Ring with these two units, so this makes sense. Shrinka. Not as good player too. But okay. I would worry more about long legs, right? It's hard to pick Ares because of Illustrial. Mm. Yeah. So he can deal with this use game. Good bands. These these units are really good when you have these two. Very good bands there. Helena, long leg. Bending up. More long legs here. But I do feel like I would have banned Adila at some point. She cannot guard magic, and she's free to go anywhere and pick someone off. Ares, Mitrizak doesn't care, care about because of Lustreal. Because yeah. he's gonna bring the Archer and 3 Angel if he gets too close. Okay, banning these two out. Toguro. I think Mitch is like pretty comfortable with these picks, I feel like. That burn hard, okay. This counter is... Could be a side tank, which could be nice. Also, when assassins come in, they get crippled by the aura. So it can be pretty nice to push with these two units. And then clean up with Yusuke. I'm not sure what Helena can do right now. We'll see. Okay. Oh. Okay, I do like this choice. You don't need Alzar for sure. Or Shiv. Okay, stun and blood there. I mean uh, sword dance. It's non bracer. Yep, like I said, he's going to try to deal with Ares this way. But she's getting outzoned right now. Oh, that's very good. Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was Tenure Breeze. Never mind. It was just a uh, sprint skill. So it's not that good. So as I mentioned, these two are going to box them out. Box out the Assassins. High defense. And then... With mobility, you can slowly approach and take over the zone control. And he just needs to get ready. Okay. Hey, Creamy. So he's going to the top where the mountain is, so he can kind of try to reach. Unless you're definitely not gonna kill. Not gonna kill, not gonna kill. So. Just putting down zones. Okay. So that is really cool. That is really cool. So 
So I think her talent is on this terrain, you get free movement, right? Let me read. That is really cool. So mobility is not consumed, not affected when moving again. Can't pass through enemy units, yeah. Very good mobility, you can pick one off. Um, the only thing is that you do have to set it up on turn 1. So probably better if you're player 1. Should be an okay trade. So that Yusuke kind of threatens this Yusuke. I mean not Yusuke, Hiei. Pretty good trade. She can't kill. He can't kill. D-Lib maybe. She can't kill so. Yusuke is pretty safe to go in I think. It's pretty safe to go in, transform, pick these off. So it looks like Mitch is actually gonna kill this Ares now. One for one. Not even gonna kill. So what happened here is you have no attack buff. Also, there's the aura. So she got gospel turn one. It's turn three. Not gonna kill. So, in my opinion, he didn't need to waste these. And you can just auto attack, I think. It is Euler's bow. Um, you're not going to take too much damage. I don't think you'll die. But he wanted to heal up. So. He's a little bit scared of the Steelit, that's why he's not moving his Yusuke too close every turn. But I think he's pretty safe, to be honest. Okay, so this is not gonna kill. Okay, heals up, kills. He's saying it.
transforms over, Delic can try to make some something happen. Um, you can either try to kill, probably kill Yusuke, right? Or you can try to kill this Ares. Ares can come back soon. He's pretty useless for a few turns. And she's not really a threat. So he does kill Ares. Yusuke can't do anything. these two out um yeah the only thing about mk is her mobility is not too great same with burn um yeah more mobility and very good map at that so i think these these picks are good I really think he needs to pick up a tank right away. So he does. Because obviously, Sandy wants you to not pick up tank. And oftentimes, Mitchie doesn't. But he caught on that, picked up a tank. Ares first pick. I think this is an interesting end. So he doesn't want to give any mobility to Sandy, it looks like. Because of excitation from Oliver. Olivier. Not too sure about this band though. Illustrial again. To counter Ares. Mitch is uh he loves using Illustrial to counter Ares. So Okay. Okay, I do like the I do like the D-Lip in here because you're gonna pick up Chuckler and D-Lip can bypass. Probably the only threat, really. But I feel like he's gonna pick up Toro now. Okay, so he's trying to get rid of all the mobility units from Sandy. But there's still a lot, right? There's Helena, there's um, Rosalia. But he picks up Rosalia herself instead of Toguro. Interesting. But I mean, if you do pick up Toguro, he's gonna ban out the damage buffers. And I don't think he can kill Chuckler. But he, he bans such damage buffers anyway. Okay. So as long as you disable guard, he can pick anyone off. Or if you kill a stuff, he can just kill anybody really. Pretty safe pick as well. Unless Trill really can't do anything here. But Mitch's main, main goal is to kill this Ares anyway. Oh, there's Horse Chuckler. Okay. I don't think I would have banned that Rin. Rin is way too slow. Toguro, maybe. But these three look scary to me. Serda. Yep, so it looks like it's gonna be a Yusuke focused team. So, yeah, I mean, 
with that mobility you can guard him down and then he can pick off either that or he kills and then Yusuke just cleans up we'll see Rosalia man is it gonna be Helena again? might be it is yeah uh, Luna could be good here as well but I think he wanted to play Helena so What does that mean, Q? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good play. You just use 3C. So you cannot heal anyone. You didn't pick up a healer. You can shiv. That's about it. Yes, you can, but if you're scared of Rosalia, you can just Triton, right? Guard everyone, and I don't think that's gonna kill. But maybe it is, because it's a horse traveler. Never mind, it's pretty weak. Pretty weak. Well, you're not killing your juggler. If, if it was a regular juggler. But I don't know how weak uh, horses. Okay. Either way, it's a pretty good jump anyway because he has no way of healing his units, and if you don't have full sol soldiers, they're not gonna do that much damage. So not bad. Either way. And that is pretty good. It makes sense though, because it's gargoyles. Okay, he's ready. He can pretty much reach anyone, right? Yeah. And it's also interesting that he brought AoE skill here. Which turned out to be pretty good. He's gonna do the same thing as game one. Move back. One good thing about Cap Juggler, they're pretty strong as well. So, she did end up killing herself. Not a fair and Serida, of course. Looks like he might go for Ares here. No. Is he? Is he going for Yusuke? Because that's not gonna kill. Yep, he's going for Ares.
the problem is how do you deal with Yusuke, right? Because he can't she can't kill. She can't kill. Free kill on the Zerda there. The breeze was pretty crucial there as well on turn one. Um, you're right that he doesn't have talent, but you have tree buff. Tree buff also applies to your troops. Pretty tanky. Defense is decent. HP looks all right. Yeah, it is a risk. It is a risk. Um, he definitely wasn't confident that he could kill Yusuke. That's why he went for Ares there. And I think it is a huge risk. Because Yusuke is pretty tanky. Right. It's, no, no, it's both. Tree gives both death and then death. It's both. Kills though. I'm not sure if my kill. It does kill. It's gonna run back or. Okay. And if, if, even if Rosalia dies here. Which I think she's gonna have a hard time killing anyway. I mean, Gizarov can just solo her pretty easily. Low M death, they're pretty good attacking tanks that cannot attack range. Oh. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. I didn't know exactly how Helena worked. That looks pretty scary to me. She can basically run anywhere on that tile. So the last game of top, top 62, Skello versus Dark Knight. Did I do this one yesterday? Okay, it's from Rocky. Um, he took it down. So... We'll move on to the next one. Tomato versus Miyoko. Oh, it's the wrong scale, though. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. 
Yeah, it was kind of strange because he's supposed to put up both 32 and 64. Um, oh, I clicked on this one, huh? <laughs> Definitely did not pay attention there. I think it's lowercase. No. What the? Um. Yeah, I don't know. Let me ping it real quick. Okay, if he responds, we can come back to it. I'll go to the next one. Where's Tony? Tomato, another single target player. A lot of damage buff here. One, two, three. A lot of single targets. Pretty much every single target here, actually. There's zero AoE. Except for kind of Ares. Yep. And then Miyoko. Maybe he knew that and brought three tanks to deal with it. A million is pretty good against this box. So three tank. So three tank doesn't really work. That's the problem. If you ban out a tank on the first turn, and then you ban out if you don't pick up a tank, you just ban out the other two tanks. So you cannot have two tanks with three tank box. That's why people use four tank box. So you can pick up two tanks. If you want to. So unless you have one more tank here, it, it really doesn't help. And his box is really slow, except for Zerida. So he's just gonna get zoned by Tomato. There's no one to zone for his units, except for Zerida. So first tank ban. As our Chlorat Ares, okay. Chlorat because of uh, Legend buff, Ares. Makes sense. Pretty strong single target. Emolia. Hmm. So Toguro, you don't have to worry about, right? I'm just not sure how tanky she is. Maybe Trian Guard might be pretty good against these two. She should be able to survive on two lives. Sorry, that picked up. Interesting. Okay. And Tomato's trying to bend out the healers. And as a single target player. Giving Wilder is not the best. Is he gonna pick up Sonya here? Okay. Use game. Personally, I would just pick up Juggler. He does. And if this Reen is Zerida proof, could be pretty good here.
I'm not too sure about this pick though. Because you're just going to get picked up by Zerida. High defense, but it's not bracers. But she's going Alzar anyway. She might survive. Unlike a tree or wall, I think. She's gonna buff Renata, looks like. Yep, there's a faction buff. I just don't know. I think Togur cannot kill because she's holy. And let's see what this uh, dealer can do. But Toguro, you can try to focus on killing this juggler. I'm not sure if it's a kill, even with a pack blessing. It is Gargoyles. Also has 3C. Let's see, let's see. Looks pretty good, I think. It's unbuffed. Good HP. I'm really interested to see what how Tomato is gonna break through this. Not sure. Looks like he is going for the juggler kill. 3C. So, there's no defense buff, but you do have plus 15 damage taken. We'll see. He's going in. Maybe he can kill. Maybe he can kill. Oh, it is a kill. Wow. Yeah, good trade. One for one. It's worth. So what Renata does is, when she uses her 3C, she doesn't get attacked. Same for a fair fight. Or you attack first. So this revive is two more turns, you can just wait that out. She just needs to pick off this Lycoris. She can deal with uh, Amelia and Renata because she can gospel herself. She's not going to get marked as long as you card, she'll be okay. Because Renata herself is not going to get through this land use either. You do have to kill this Lycoris though with this Aradon, in my opinion. That looks pretty dangerous to me. That looks pretty dead to me, actually. What can I reach now? That skill gives movement down. She can't reach. But that movement down should last only one turn. So she's good to go now. 
So, if you're Miyoko, you have to protect Licorice. I mean, I think she couldn't go anywhere. Yeah, she's trapped. Very patient. So, I think I will just guard it here. Kill. And then you'll be in guard range, right? Or can you kill and then one... No, I don't think you can move back. If you attack from here, you can. So you can move back anyway. Okay. What well, doesn't matter because no one can reach her. Okay. You know, Miyoko was playing really patient here, or Tomato was playing really patient here using his air the last. So you had to turn to set this unit up, but he wanted to hug the wall. But it's super obvious that he's going for this. Um, like risk kill. You could move your Renata in one ring range. So you can follow up kill, right? I mean one of your units is gonna die, but you wanna trade. Yeah, you can see it's yeah, interesting game. Yeah, he should have put liquors or Renata next to liquors. Harry's first man, interesting. Is there the first man? Yeah, that's that's true as well. But you would have got mobility buff. Um, but I think Serda could have ran back to the tank range anyway, guard range. So ultimately, I don't think it would matter. <laughs> Julia pick. So in case of second pick Yulia, it's best to get get rid of debuffs, right? So Assassin is not really a threat. So it's, it's your turn to pick next and you're trying to pick Yulia here, then you would just ban out if it's like um, Rain Bozel, usually. And okay, no gospel. And then he's probably gonna pick up a debuffer here, or he's not. Yulia, okay. Uh, kind of risky if he didn't know this was a holy Yulia. Holy Yulia usually dies to Ares, but infantry Yulia will pretty much survive anything. Also. So 
if we build our tanky enough um, and have crit reduction, if Zerda doesn't crit, she should be able to survive. Renata, that is. Because Renata can get really tanky, depending on the gear you give her. Her base is really high, so she can be assassin proof. Okay, Luna buff. And also, um, Princess buffers left. This is a full AoE team right now, so tank doesn't really matter. Licorice is a better pick. Okay, guess the two debuffs. Yuli is pretty useless. There's like three counter Yulia here. And your main unit is Yulia. Also, Ares counters Licorice as well. Um, Renata should be able to kill back because her skill, if it's not a flyer, I don't think they can... You attack first, right? So if you have Rag, you break their rights and you should be able to kill Assassins, I think. And you, even if you don't kill, you have Revive anyone. Yeah, 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 but it, it just it just should not get that close where your Assassin or enemy's Assassin can just go back to the guard range. The game just dragged out like that. Um, you just had no way of zoning him. So... Let me check something real quick though. Very high HP. She should be safe next to Landius. Also pretty high HP. Um, yeah, it could get risky if he goes in. But I think that Yuli is dead, to be honest. We'll see. Yeah, uh, Renata is pretty tanky. And has a pretty high kill potential with her talent. But band pick wise, Tomato's way too strong here. Right? Any kind of debuff is crucial, or even one AoE. Ares goes in, follows up, and you can pretty much explode your team here. Two holding units, three holding units. Very dangerous. Not to mention that he has like a complete zone control here. So. This is this is also super dangerous. If you don't silence here, he was in range anyway though. I think this turn everything just explodes. Bozo's even in range. Okay. Goes in, you can bring everyone forward. AoE, AoE, AoE. Right. No crits. Not gonna kill it looks like. Doesn't matter though. You're forced to heal. And here comes the AoE. And double. Wow, wow. So it must be seal here. Yep, seal. And that looks pretty GG to me. Yep. To be honest though, the play I would have made if I were Tomato. Let's actually jump. Not Bozo. I would jump to lock these two down so they don't run away and just double nuke after. This is okay too.
Well, first of all, you can't waste Licorice. You have two healers, and he has four AoEs, right? So, and you're you're in range. Not many choices here because basically all your units are getting countered by Tomatoes picks. I mean, Ares counters, Debuffs counters Yulia. Four AoEs. Not much you can really do. You just have to stay back, but you can't stay back forever. But if you stay back and spread out, you can at least count on your enemy making mistakes. You can't just push forward though. Yeah, that could be good if you can reach. So I either need to go all in with Licorice and Yulia or just back off and spread out, make them jump one by one. But you just cannot let your enemy combo everything into you when you're grouped up together. Okay. Next one is Hako versus Feynard. Yeah, you just have to respect your opponent sometimes. Um, when it when it's against AOE, it's just that you you just cannot survive if you get nuked um, four A AOEs in a row like that. So no matter what composition you have, So Ares good on this map, reasonable. Sorry, the man. Um, yeah, his units are actually it's not too bad to let Zara that through. You have like different options here, right? Pretty good at tanking. All land is banned though. Mm, I guess. Not too sure. So Hako does love his uh, Wilder second pick, and then combo with Rainforce, and he leaves units like Hiei because Hiei Hie does really bad against um, Landius and Wilder anyway. You don't have to worry about that. Listel, pretty good pick here against Wilder, three C. Bozo. And Bozo is very safe here. Because the only assassin that's left is Hiei. He's safe. Yeah, why do we see? Okay. Licorice and Hiei. Licorice, understandable. Hiei, not too much. I don't think you have to worry about it. He's gonna get deal it looks like. Or even this is not a bad pick either, because it's Cap Landius. So he does get area run. Those two man. Yep, looks pretty good to me. These two picks both good. Um if he wants to play a slow game, Sophia's probably better. 
He's not really in a rush. He can just tank push. Here though. Yeah, probably like ban these two or something. He picks a Liana. So ban this. Yep, the healers. Because you're pretty much all AoE. You want to get rid of the healers here. Sophia. It's a slow game. AoE, refresh, AoE. So in this case, I would definitely pick a Rainforce. Aladdin just doesn't do anything. Right? He's not single target. But he's trying to pull Bozo maybe. Hey, Wing Karibo. Okay. Action buff. So you think Hako has the advantage here? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think Hakko has, has the advantage. No, I mean, I mean, do you think Vaynor has the advantage here? I think Hakko. Actually, you do have two Gospels this spell. You can pull. I just don't like that list spell pick too much. It gets dangerous to Blood Dance. You're gonna trigger Aerial Rod here. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Jumping forward. I usually like that move because it's like saying it's like a BM move, right? Showing no respect for your opponent. It's pretty fun to use. Just moving forward. Yeah, this is pretty good. And teleport him back here too. But you know what? It's gonna mess recall, right? Oh, he doesn't have it. He can heal though. So, regroup. Interesting. Mind blown. You know what? Sight might be able to kill here. He did get MDF, MDF taken 20%. Broke source. Should be able to it should be able to kill, I think. With sight. Yep, it is a kill. Um, the position was a little weird though. It's like inviting area rod into Grand Cross here. I mean, might also go here, hit, right? Because then you can heal. Remove these. Maybe because he wants to act again. That's also possible. But acting again doesn't really help anyone. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. So if you choose to AoE, you're killing yourself here. And that's like the only move you can make. It doesn't do anything. And he's going. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. So he could hit without hearing Aerie Rod. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, 
that's here. Okay, not bad. This shouldn't do too much. Well, now the main problem is she can't heal. She can't heal. But both of these are on cooldown. She can use this though, I think. And Rachel cannot do anything this turn either. Is that, is that a kill? Nope. Well, she's gonna act again. What AoE does, he, does she have? Oh, she has a back, so she's dead. Yep. Yeah, so the biggest problem there was act again, right? Because that act again didn't accomplish anything, and she could not heal last turn. Also, isn't it better to Blood Dance area, get rid of her? You can move. I mean, you don't need to Blood Dance now, I don't think, right? I think he could have still won. You don't have to care about these. You have two tanks, you have a healer. You can sustain pretty easily, doesn't really have damage, just get rid of her. And then you, he has to move, so you can blood dance probably multiple people here. You don't you don't really need to blood dance this right here. Could have won. I mean it's not over yet though. Now it's hard to kill. Right? So Vaynar started really well in the beginning, getting the balls aloft. This is pretty nice though, I guess. But Grand Cross is back. She can act again as well. Yeah, at this point, it's really hard to win. Arian's just gonna kill. Not gonna take too much damage here. I mean, she's gonna heal. And then they can slowly kill this list though. So. Yeah, I think Vaynar actually had... He just made two big mistakes. He actually had a really good chance there. To win this game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Same map. I hate this map. But this time Vaynar is player one. Yeah, Vaynar's uh Bampix were pretty good.
to be honest. Um, and him killing Bozo was really big as well. He had both Rachel and Liana, so she could easily heal back, which is um, Arion left. Also had Listel. Not bad in tanks again, looks like. Um, D list second pick's pretty interesting from Hot Girl. I don't think it does anything. Maybe he thinks this is Lancer Landius. Not sure. Is there the pick? Is there the pick is okay. It's like kind of easy to prevent him from like picking these. All right, he knows his cat. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think Dila is the best second pick there, to be honest. I don't think she does too much here. He loves his Wyler, third pick. Rachel, pretty good. Pretty good right now. And then those two out. Yeah, area on the cat. Yep, D list pick, good pick. Also, yeah, I like this pick. So, also the thing about it is, you did pick second pick Rainforest. You will have to go in at some point, right? So, I guess kind of dangerous against Aerial Rod. I think it's good to ban her. But picks wise, I don't think Hakua's picks are too great. Uh, Arian picks alright. D lit doesn't really do much. But she definitely counters this unit, second pick. Rachel's good, D lit's good against Juggler. You can easily go in if you have a chance. Push in, you can try to snipe. You can even try to snipe her too. Zerida unnecessary. These two are good, not the best, but overall looks okay. Um, this map, even as P1, unless you're like an aggressive, high mobility rusher, is super nice. But if your box is if your box is slow, it's not that great. Yeah, any flyer unit, very nice. Three okay, C. Uh, I would never put my units over here. That's like the worst spot. I would just go from the top. You get trapped pretty easily down here or up here. So 
should have moved her way before, so you have either Rachel or Dilith left. He's gonna follow up, try to kill. Maybe Landius. But I don't think this is a great jump either. So he's gonna. We'll see. But whenever Hako uses 3C, that means he's ready to go in, right? Rachel attacks. It's gonna damage, but he has 3C. Heals up though. Rachel's still low, so she's actually in danger. We'll see. Crit. She is dead. Did she not have sight there? She did have sight there. You have to use sight if your HP is low. gonna attack jungler but it's gonna fall to heal heal to full so yeah it doesn't do anything not gonna kill win wall as well oh wait 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 what happened Yeah, yeah. Is this not star earring though? Um, yeah, I'm pretty surprised though, right? Fifteen percent plus thirty percent, forty-five percent reduction. Decently high defense after star earring. Really low. Attack. And it looks like his um, guard was disabled from Grand Cross. Not, yeah, yeah. Um, you just can't do anything for one more turn, I think. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're on top because you just can't do anything until next turn, right? Arion's push skill should be up, I think. Not guarding, right? Or he's guarding now, okay. Wait, not guarding. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, be shot, be shot. Be shot. Or debuff? Uh, 
Oh, okay, Wilder. All right. Um, I'm not sure why he has this up here. Let's pretend we didn't see that one. Um, yeah. I think Vaynar could have made, made better plays. His picks are okay. He had win conditions there. Once again though, like he just grouped up against all the AoEs, AoEs there. And he, he did not heal his Rachel, which was pretty big. Uh, so the next game, Siwi versus Kazgal. Uh, Kazgal streamed it, but it wasn't casted, so let's watch. Supposed to find seaweed. Oh, there you go. Yulia is interesting. Both team Yulia, actually. Um, the only real unit with mobility on this team is Ares. There's no Zera though. Pretty much the same as Zerida and Ares though. Similar team. What are they different? So Siwi is not using his area run. Instead he has Listel. And then also no Zerida and using uh, all Landius here. Jungler bands. Okay. Mobility plus debuff makes sense. Should be okay. Similar, same man. Yulia second pick. Okay, so banning out the Gospels, he's gonna pick up either Bolzel or Liquors here. He keeps he picks up Bolzel. Um maybe he doesn't care. But he might pick up Liana, who knows? Ending out Julia and Licorice. Okay. Mm. So the choice that we can make here is pick up Serida and just try to snipe Bozel. She should be fine. But he picked the Liana. I think if if I was Siwi, I think I'd pick up Serida here. Because even with Gospel, you're way too slow. You're way, way too slow here. And I don't see a reason to really ban Yulia. You have Listel, complete counter. You have two more debuffs, right? I'll just let that through. Get rid of maybe Gospels or. Uh, probably not Dila, Rachel. But yeah, I would have made a different choice here, for sure. Okay, so he, he's Zerda's banned, he's safe. Ligris is also banned. All land use.
carry around. Um, yeah, maybe Gizaroth. I would definitely bank Gizaroth here. Aerial Rod, I'm not too sure. It's a Lancer. Not gonna do anything to Yulia. And because you're gonna pick up Bolzol. And he has really great picks here against Bolzol. So Rachel's good. These two bands. I mean, might as well just pick up Gizzard off here, right? He's gonna pick up Rachel. And probably Wilder's good. No, no, no. Yulia can't move only if you bring unicorns. I'm pretty sure he's smart enough to not bring unicorns. Okay. Let's see. So CE brings heavy infantry instead of unicorns because of old land use. He should be okay against Bolzol. Let's see what she can do though. Unfortunately, heavy infantry against cap troops, not gonna do too much. But he, she might one shot though, because she's infantry. We'll see, we'll see. It's just going to be a mid fight anyway, so it doesn't really matter, right? You're just gonna meet him middle. There's just no other way around against this team versus that team. That's the thing. Um, Amazon could be good, but not many have it trained, especially the Lancer training, so you're very unlikely to see it. Heavy infantry pretty popular though, so... But they are going to meet in the middle. Um, I don't like that play. Actually, that was, uh... Pretty sad. I think she's too far back as well. You don't need to stay that far. Yeah, you're, you're kind of way too far. You don't need to be that far. You're going to have trouble reaching and healing. Because if you look at Sophia, he has mass resist, which is good against Bozal AoE. At the same time, you just have no mass heal. She needs to heal. So, I mean, Liana doesn't need to be far away at all. Even if, she, even if she's silenced, you have Archer. Just keep her in the back. This is good. She can be with the team. Have her in the back, right? Because she can mass heal by passive, talent passive, and also get rid of debuffs. So there's no reason to be way back here. It's not gonna it's actually gonna hurt you here. It's starting to show now, right? There's no mass heal. She can't reach. She can't reach. Pretty dangerous. He can use rewind. Kind of a waste. 
Archer way too far. Cannot even dispel. Right? She has to walk off. Waste a turn. And Yulia went in without being gospel too. That was also questionable, right? So one more AoE from Bozel. Or two more actually. We'll see, we'll see. This push actually kind of helps him a little bit. Now he can heal. So he heals Julia. Get rid of get rid of the debuffs. Earthquake. This or oh, black hole. This could be bad. Uh, Archer is dead. So that turn, if Yulia was close, you didn't even need to waste the spell, right, from the archer. You could've just walked, dispel everyone, also heal. So you're delayed one turn, heals, archer's dead, and now he's in trouble, right? There's, there's no arcane blast. Like the card is gone. Yep, guard is gone. Sophia dies. Nice clock though. Mass heal, no problem. No silences. It's fine. But let's check. Mass heal. Also, if things get too bad, tactical. She's still gospel. Should be fine, right? Oh, she's not guarded though. Moby now. Okay. Guarding now. Should not kill. She was full HP. Even now. She doesn't need to move back. Three space. Can you hit three space though? Three three space sight is nice. But he does tactical here. like a third black hole. Heal block, heal block. Pretty bad. And he quits. Okay, both, both players kicking out Yulia. I think that's interesting. Um, he's bringing out Lustrio. Not necessarily good against this box right now. He brought Arian Rod and Angelina. Which is not too bad. Um, Kind of interesting that. Okay. So long legs and whatever he thinks is a huge threat. Second pick on this trail. 
Um, I'm not sure about all these, man. D lit is actually a pretty good band. Mm. Oh, he has Landius. Yeah, yeah, that can be okay. Yeah, that can be good. I didn't know he didn't ban Landius. Yeah, it's pretty good. Two debuffers. That's interesting that he banned out debuffers instead of dispellers when he's gonna pick a lippers right i think you can pick a rachel here or if you want to be safe you could pick up the lid just because there is um a Lustro. so he does pick up the lid instead of rachel okay sophia's okay here I mean, to be honest, I think even Rachel's okay. Sophia doesn't do too much here. Like, Refresh doesn't really do too much. Rachel could be okay. He does pick Sophia though. So the only problem is dealing with this uh, illustrial here. Um, these two units are in danger. She should be fine, no problem. These three can push, keep them in the back. Somehow you have to snipe illustrial, or she needs to snipe uh, licorice, and then you can win, right? Trade. She cannot kill anyone. Well, she can kill Sophia, but you can eventually win these three versus these three. I think left side wins. Let's see what happened here. So her range should be pretty good right now. So Zerda is in range. No attack buff though. Um, pretty decent defense and HP. And you can't onrush against Landius. And still has hide and seek, even if you break the last rights. So I don't know if that's a kill. Not sure if that's a kill. I don't think that's a kill, actually. He has to go back. Probably because of the danger zone, right? Yeah. Um, now liquors can move forward. But you know, you know, like play like this can be risky, right? Because there's still Sophia with Tenyos, Tenyo Prox. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. You can one shot. 
Um. So if it's like a Blood Pact Landius, I couldn't one shot through Templar Knights, but let's see. Oh, Blood Armor. That's not. That's not gonna one shot. That sucks. Yeah, Templar Knights is, is hard to one shot. And Blood Armor, nope. She's fine. It's only three range. Yeah, Zerida just can't do her job because of this Celestial. So, yeah, coming in pretty clutch because of that map control. Not in range though. This should be a kill. Um, but he did make a mistake here of moving his units for that 2 range. So Landios was blocking the 2 range guard. He probably didn't see that. I mean, now she can go here, attack. Because before it was 3 range, all these spots. Oops, oops. Kinda sucks. But, you know what, I still think it's fine, as long as you kill this Licorice, I think it's fine, right? Okay, it's not like a damage down. Damage taken 20%, maybe that comes in clutch. Nope. So everything looks good, right, for Sayori? Everything went as planned. Illustrial kills Sophia, Zerida kills Lic Liquors, and it's even better because she's alive. Right? And the good thing about having this Landius alive is usually constructs just suicide into Landius. So. That's actually a lot of damage there. Um, kind of risky. You want to keep the Landius alive in this game. But we'll see, we'll see. Still has jump, I think. Yeah, yeah, this, because I mean, if you kill this construct, it's good, but giving two constructs at once can be pretty annoying. He can 3C too, right? He can 3C after jump if he jumps now. We'll see. He does jump. Also, jumping here is really bad, right? He's got 3C now. Or he doesn't have to receive. Yep, juggler constructs are super strong against um Juggler. That's why I said you need to keep Landius alive. It should be dead this right now. And then Landius kills the other life. Coming back though. Now he 3 sees. I don't think it's. 
I should kill easily. Okay. Still looking good, it looks like. Alright. Should not be a kill. I'm not sure if it was a kill, but I think you need to kill the Construct, not Wyler here. It might not be a kill though. Oh well, it doesn't, yeah, because it has 40% damage reduction, plus 15, 55, I don't, it might survive. Mm. At least keep her safe. For now. Yep, the jump was the crucial part for Sealy, because jump it's gonna keep that Wilder from casting 3C. You have to wait for it. There's no reason to jump back then. It accomplishes nothing. So. And as the map gets closer, jump is very nice. Yeah, but I feel like Siri should have won this 100%. If he wasn't careless. That's not gonna kill. So it ends up being one-on-one. -on -one, but it's Lancer versus Cat, so... Yeah, just a couple misplays there. I think he should have won game two. But I mean, there's always pressure, so you can't always make the right moves. So sorry. Yeah, Constructs can get scary, and Kaskal is one of the earliest players that started using Gizarov, or he used Gizarov for a very long time, so he knows he knows exactly what the Construct can do, what it can kill. Yep. Um, I actually have some interesting videos that I found today. If you guys want to watch uh, games from like season one, <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know about. That. I'm not gonna make any comment on that. How's it show? Um. Yeah, I could. If you guys want, you guys can watch some vintage games that I recorded. Back in season one. It's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see. This okay, so this one is versus Dango, season one. Definitely have an interesting box here. Most of these are like four stars. <clears throat>
Oh, uh, Carpenter game. Yeah, I didn't review it yet. Actually, Tessa Rosa didn't want me to review it because it's top secret, he said. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to review it. <laughs> no, no, no. He said he'd rather not show. Yeah, I told him, and he didn't. He didn't want to, but I told him I had to please Sani. And he said, if it's, if it's sort of good cause, then you can. But he still didn't want me to like deeply analyze the games. <laughs> Again, yeah, we can watch it after this. We can quickly watch it. This lean her is probably like three stars naked bait. <laughs> um Lanfer is four stars, Leon Leon is four stars, Shelf is five. Yeah, a lot of crappy units. Uh Tears here is four stars. Yeah. Anna, I didn't have the resources to raise Anna. Anna was super good season one though. Right? Because of summon and the random buff. Tenure buff. Has mass heal, has the spell. Yeah, pretty good. Season one, especially because season one was like the you can summon, so she was pretty useful. Game, please. Okay, okay, okay. sorry. Um, okay, okay. I muted the game. Sorry about that. My bad. Should have told me earlier. Yeah, so, so the season one was all about Leonard and Joshua. Varna was pretty good. You just buff them up, explode everyone, right? Sorry, I don't always read chat. <laughs> and back then, he they show the names. Now they hide the names on the Apex, so he knows my Leonard is a bait. So he's not gonna ban it. Oh, sorry, Wink. I I told him fishing. I actually got scolded by uh, Sandy yesterday because he said. I ignored his um, chat. Yeah, so if I don't reply, it's not intentional.
Yeah, so my list spell is not defensively built, all his boots, and... Yeah, it's boots. It's just boots. Also, it's 60 slots, right? Boots with, like, um, dark robe and dark crown, I think. Yep, 977 attack. And that's Erda. Yeah, I think it was pretty fair because you only have 5 skill points. So when you bring summon, you do have to sacrifice a lot. You can only bring 1 skill, 1 useful skill. So on Bozal, if you bring um, skeletons, you can only bring Crashing Buff and Fireball or Seal. So he doesn't have any AoEs if you bring Crashing Buff or just one AoE, that's it. So I don't think it was that bad. Um, this is Season 1 King that I found. These are like my private videos. I have a couple more, but... <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um. So I guess I have to review the other one. What's it called? Oh, uh, what am I typing? It's Harry Sandy. So this game, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. This is not TSTO. This is a different tournament. So Harry versus Sandy, they they play similar boxes and style, and we'll just watch it. <laughs> uh, Testa didn't want me to analyze anything. They're just having fun. Um, trying things out, so...
Yeah, I'm sure it was. Um, Noemi's pretty. No I fought against Noemi. I think Noemi is pretty useful. So annoying. Um, I think she's really nice against uh, single target. Yeah, Noemi is not too bad. Noemi has, I think, like max troop attack, and also when you have 3C on, it's not too bad. She already has plus intelligence and she has uh, damage bonus of 3C, 20%. Yeah, pretty strong. If she had Sight, she'll be very strong. Sight would have made her pretty OP there. And you can't throw anything. <laughs> you just kill with magic. You, you just cannot kill her with uh, physical. Yeah, you just ignore her or kill with magic. Because right now she doesn't have magic card, so it's pretty easy. But once she gets magic card, it might get difficult. It will get difficult.
Testarossa using his favorite unit here. Still should be able to kill this Ren, right? Or is he going for her? Okay. What the? <laughs> Genius staff. Well, that kind of sucks because now um, Shrinka's gonna die. Oh, or not. Um, I mean, your shrink is dead. Perfect damage now. Might as well just attack. Yeah. Yeah, that looks that looks GG. Reen one versus four, I think. Yeah, whale power, for sure. Yeah, Tesla has a lot of toys.
<laughs> no. Yeah, I'm just I'm just watching. I mean I just wanna watch. Um, should be pretty interesting because um, Shrinko gets media buff this time. So is his plan try to kill Estelle and then... Okay, that's dead now. A little bit of disrespect there. Um, this is nice. Not really. So I don't think he meant to jump and die to MK there. Uh, but I know Tessa has a tendency to just leave when he doesn't think he can win. Um, and now it's time. So I'm the opposite. I just play till the end. Just hope for a miracle. Uh, um. Yeah, I can play one more match from the past, and then I'll be closing the stream after that. Okay. Let me set this up. So this is against X Tears, which is uh, the person that piloted Method for until was it season two? Yeah, yeah, until the end of season two. Yeah, he's a very good player. Um, Play Genshin now. But you do see where I st when I started using Chris, you know, season one, and then kept using her until season three. A shelf also I used until season three, I think. Angelina I never kicked. But every season I play different style. Um, season one was more of, I guess, like kind of like Michizak, how he plays now. Well, in the beginning, it's all about rush, and then you kind of learn to kind of zone out or spread out, and also learn to be a little more patient. And then I learn how to. I started using tank in season two, and then like started using single target. Well, I learned sing single target in, like season three. So every season is like different. Try to learn new things. Season four, I use a lot of assassins, and yeah, every season is different.
but it comes in handy because it just gives you more tools to work with and that helps a lot during fan picks because it makes you more flexible. I know there are a lot of people that just like play the same game since like season one. Especially a lot of the way of players. Because they just outstat tank push and stuff. And I have not seen their game change since like season one. And yeah, I think it's good to try different strategies and pick up new stuff. X Lucky is the original method before Ascension to Copa. Pretty hard to farm SSRs, it takes a while. Um, well, at this point, I, I think they're just replacing SRs though. I don't think there's gonna be any more viable SRs, except for maybe healers. Even, well, I mean, Letitia's are, but Warner is like just a straight up upgrade.
Yep, yeah, um, yeah, five points is really tough because there is just limited choices you can make. And I think I actually like that because after six calls, everybody's pretty OP. Um, Serida was actually one of my first six stars. I started charting her since her release, so. was like one of my few sisters in my box. Yeah, he probably thought he could survive there. It is high defense, 700. That's like equivalent to being like 900 defense. And there's Landiosaura. No, no, he, he wants to be in range of Landius, I think. Boots was dominant in like uh, non whale players. All the whales used bracers. I mean, bracer was pretty OP. I mean, OP now, but it was way more OP back then. Because now you don't have to worry about this though.
遊に出撃する。Yeah, I also have no places. Nani o s t e r n o a w a k a t e i n o But actually, Boots b o z o l comes out ahead against、um, Racer b o z o l So in this case, I have better range, right? Nani o s t e r n o a w a k a t e i n o And it looks like Demon b o z o l was popular. I'm using Demon b o z o l so it's my opponent. Terunoka Waka.
絶望せよ。ターゲットは。はあ。計画通り。Yeah, but hey, I want the RNG then. Fifty percent.
球に出撃する私の剣技見せてあげるピンポーンほら後ろだよはあの何をしてるのか分かっているのか計画通りもう私の番まだ終わらないよターゲットは何をしてるのか分かっているのかなぜなら、ジュースのオーオーダーマッチコンシーズン1。That's not a real game. Or game of the past. So I'm gonna end the stream.、Um, yeah, thanks for watching.、Um, there's no more games tonight, but should be more games tomorrow. I'll post it later. Actually, there's. there's Maybe at least three games tomorrow, so I'll post the schedule later. Yeah,、uh, yeah, just、um, even if you're not in the tournament right now, if you want to upload some, upload some games, that's fine too. I'll try to review it when I can. So just put that up on request review and it should be good.、Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys、uh, probably tomorrow. Later.